Sunday morning, I'm at it again. So what we have here today is a truck with no motor. That seems to be a problem, don't it? <laughs> so it's a 99 Chevy and I got to clean everything out. Take the pressure washer and clean all this up. I got to get this manifold loose from the exhaust right there. And I'll uh, take a saw and cut through the studs because I got other studs. But this is a 99 Chevy and uh, got a little work ahead of me. But truck's in really good shape. And the reason I'm doing this is because the other motor got hot and got high miles. So it only makes sense to put a low mile motor in it. And I'll show you the motor. I'll go show you that. So this is the old motor. Pulled that out. It's the 5.7 with the 4L80E transmission. If you wonder how I know that, you look on the side. And it'll say... I don't know if y'all can see this or not. Four L eighty E, and it's got the. It's a decent uh, transfer case. It ain't the best, but it's decent. But this motor has high miles on it. But we're getting rid of that, and we're going with this one. And this is a five point seven. With 40,000 original miles. And it also has the 4L 80E. And I had to take the transfer case off because this is the transfer case to come off of it. And it's the Borg Warner. And it's the manual shift on the floor. The one to come out of the truck was automatic in the dash push button. And instead of going through all the wiring, which I do have the wiring harness here, I have the wiring harness and I have the linkage and I have everything for inside the truck too. So if I decide to go with this later on down the road, I can. I just don't want to mess with the wires right now and uh you know i don't throw any codes or anything and i don't want to get this in there and find out that uh it's not going to work and i'd like to get this truck back on the road i pulled the hog the front differential out i call them hog it's front differential i pulled it out of my other one and i got that also out of the truck with 40,000 miles. So I'm gonna put that in there too. And all the numbers match. So I know it's the same. I just won't cover it up here so it'll get wet. Probably don't matter, but whatever. So that's going in the truck. That's not. All of this is going in the truck. But before I put it in the truck, gotta replace the valve cover gaskets, intake gaskets, and oil pan gasket. Now, these trucks are notorious for these intakes leaking. And I've seen a lot of them, and they'll leak real bad. They'll start out a lot of times back here in the back, in these corners, and it'll blow it out, and the next thing you know, you're running hot and you got a problem. So they're notorious for that. And it's the 90... I think 96 and up. This they're in GMCs too. This is actually of a 2000 GMC and it's exactly the same. Exactly the same as this one that come out of the 99 Chevrolet. So the GMC and the Chevrolet share the same motor. Now another problem with these is right here. 
these distributor caps. Now this is a new one. No, wait a minute. That ain't the new one. Over here's the new one. So it's a few things I got to switch over on this. But these are notorious for on the inside of the distributor cap. They'll crack. And then it'll jump fire and it'll make these things pop and crack and misfire and it sounds like you've jumped time, but it's actually this distributor cap. These motors are pretty tough. I mean, you ain't gonna hurt them too quick, but I'm gonna replace these gaskets and get this motor buttoned up, get it cleaned up, get the truck cleaned up, and then I'm gonna slide this in it. So might not get to that today. Might not get it in there today. But I just want to show y'all some of it and uh, what I'm into. And just kind of give a rundown of what I'm doing. I ain't done a video in a while, so I'm going to throw a video up. But I will be putting another video up, getting this in. And the 87, we have to get leaf springs on the back of that, so I'll be showing that too. But... That's what I'm doing today. Pressure wash all this out. I'm going to pressure wash this inside of this motor bay out real good. And uh, I'm going to spray some good paint on it. So I'm getting the shape that it's in because it's got a little bit of rust on it and it kind of looks nasty. So I'm cleaning it all up and all good. While well, I got the motor out, I might as well do it now. And uh, I think it'll look better like that. That way it don't look like I cut corners. This thing does good too. Well, I got the engine bay all painted up. Got the frame all painted up. That's mainly what I wanted to do. The rest of it looks pretty good. But uh, I wanted to just address this rust issue on the frame. But got it done. So now time to move on to the next step. I gotta get that differential in here. I think I'm gonna do that last. I'm gonna drop the motor and transmission transfer case in, and then I'm gonna put the front differential in. But, all right, it was a while before I, I made another video, and I just wanted y'all to see what I was doing. But, uh, I guess I'm gonna get off here, and y'all have a good rest of your evening or day. Thanks for watching, y'all. Please like and subscribe.